I'm sure I'm not the only photographer that's on an unending quest to find the perfect camera bag. Hopefully I found it. I just bought the 20 liter everyday backpack. I've already had the Peak Design backpack for a couple weeks now, but we're going on a trip to Toronto for the Toronto International Film Festival. And then we're going to New York for a few Fashion Week events. So what a perfect opportunity to try it. I got a ton of camera gear with me, more than I can fit in this one bag. So I have my Langley bag as well. I can take a look at both of them. Anya, I like your coat. Thanks. Have a great day. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. The most important bag requirements for me are a protective interior, water resistant shell, and well organized compartments for all my stuff. Those things are actually pretty easy to find in a bag, but what's nearly impossible is to find all of those qualities in a bag with an attractive, simple design. I travel with my gear a lot, but I'm usually in cities and I don't want to look like a mountain climber with a giant backpack on. It's day two at TIFF and last night we got to see Borg McEnroe. I'm just like uh, anybody else, I'm not a machine. The ball is on the line! Which is not a movie I would have chosen myself. It's about tennis, which I don't care about, but turned out to be a really fantastic film. And we've got a few more movies to see. Hopefully they all turn out as good as this one. How did you know that Ed Harris was the man for the part? Ed Harris is the man for any part. <laughs> we just got out of our second movie, Kodachrome. Anya, what do you think? It was a little predictable. I don't know if we're going to recommend it to everybody. It had very beautiful Leica cameras in it, so I like it that. We came to the rooftop of our hotel, and we realized that you can actually see the whole film festival from up there. So it's day three, we saw I, Tanya last night, which is a movie about Tanya Harding. It was great, kind of comedy, dramedy. Tanya. Tell the truth. There's no such thing as truth. I mean, it's bullshit. And now we're gonna take some photos. We're doing some stuff with Canada Goose Knitwear. It's fall in Canada. A lot of the appeal of the everyday backpack is that it blends well into daily life and it doesn't draw any attention to being a camera bag. Its design is a little more sporty than I'd like, but it's way nicer than most on the market. It's 6 a.m., we did not have enough sleep and we're heading to New York. By the way, I'm reviewing this as a camera bag, but it actually would work really great for anybody in need of a high quality general purpose bag. Its compartments are really versatile and it could easily adapt to a lot of different uses. My previous camera bag situation leading up to this was just the Langley Multipack, which is like a big everything bag. I'm still using it now, and it's what I put everything in that we travel with. But before that, I was using the Langley Alpha Pro, which was great, but I found it didn't really isolate my cameras enough, so they could still touch each other and bump each other, and I wanted something with more protection. So I got the Langley Multipack, and it's been good, but let me show you some of the problems. So the Langley is more of like a traditional camera bag, which is just one big compartment and a bunch of foam dividers to keep things safe. It works really well, except for when it's not completely full, things start to move around and knock against each other, and uh, it's not in the place that you put it when you started the day. So I needed a smaller bag for when I'm just bringing a few things out to shoot, which is you know kind of day to day while I'm traveling. This is kind of the bag that stays at the hotel. So I'll still be traveling with both bags most of the time, but I'll usually be traveling with the smaller bag inside my carry-on just to make everything a bit smaller. I do like Langley a lot as a brand, but I should mention that when I got this bag, one of the zippers broke right away. They offered to fix it, which is great, but uh, still it happened. Uh, simplicity service consists of a complimentary beverage and snack. Today's beverage choices are coffee, water, beer, wine, or juice. They made some trade-offs in the maximum volume of the bag to really optimize it for daily use. Bags with more open storage area let you put pretty much anything of any size in there. You lose that a bit with Peak Design, but in exchange you get more protective structure. One thing that makes this bag really stand out is the material choices. There's this great waterproofing material on... <laughs> let, let's uh, try that again. 
Overall, the material choices in this bag feel amazing. I think that the waterproofing that they put on, it's really great. It feels nice to the touch. It keeps the water out effectively. And it seems like it's gonna last a long time. Like I think you can get a little bit beat up. The nylon seatbelt straps feel really good. They used aluminum for all the clasps and it's just like very high quality stuff. I really love the structural integrity of this bag. When you squeeze it, when it's empty, it still actually holds together pretty well. And you don't think your stuff's gonna get busted up. One detail to look at in any bag that you're interested in is the strength of the interior dividers. If the Velcro is gonna lose its grip or the walls aren't rigid, it's not gonna last. One of the key things that attract me to this particular bag is that there's not a lot of visible straps on it. It basically looks like a normal backpack most of the time. And then there's also like hidden straps, like these waist straps that you can't see right now. They go inside the bag. You can still pull them up and buckle them up for full back support. I don't know why this isn't more common for bag manufacturers to do because it looks a hell of a lot better. Also, if you're wondering for comfort, these side straps are really padded. There's a lot of padding on the back. It does feel great and more comfortable than just a normal backpack, which is what I was using before, like a non-photography bag. It's meant for less weight. This can hold a lot of weight and still isn't too painful. I should also clarify that for any camera bag to be perfect for my daily use, it can only be a backpack. There's a lot of attractive messenger bags out there, but it's terrible for your shoulders and your back to put all that weight on one side. If you have a heavy-ish camera and you bring it with you often, skip anything with one strap and go straight to a backpack. So I got the 20 liter version of this bag because I'm already traveling with a pretty big bag. If I was traveling with one bag, I'd probably have gotten the 30 liter. So right now I have the 5D Mark IV, 70 to 200. The 24 to 70 is also in there as well as the Sony a7R2 that this is being filmed on right now. It all fits in there pretty cozily, it works, um, but it's the absolute maximum. I couldn't put anything else in. So if I was traveling with only one bag, I would definitely have the 30 liter, two bags, 20 liters perfect for just a day out shooting photos. I really like that there was a sense of discovery with this bag. Like the first week that I got it, I kept figuring out new ways that these straps and clasps and compartments could be utilized because it just looks like a really simple bag at first, but there's actually a lot more going on once you start to dig into it. You kind of have to watch the tutorials on the Peak Design website to really get what all of it's for. Fortunately, I don't usually need to travel with any tripods or larger camera support, but if you do, then there are ways to attach them to the bag. And I love that you would never guess that just by looking at it. Okay, back to the vlog for one second. I know I said I was coming to New York so that we could do Fashion Week. We're not doing Fashion Week the normal way. It turns out I actually don't have to do much at all this time. We just went to a couple meetings and Anya's going to the event. So she's there tonight. And so I'm just going to my own meeting tonight and then hanging out around Fifth Avenue. There are so many little details like the hidden keychain attachment, the almost microfiber lining on the inside, super secure laptop storage, battery compartments, hidden clasps, magnets to snap things together, way more than you would expect. And also, the zippers on the side of the bags have these great little locks so that if you're somewhere crowded, you can keep people from getting into your bag. So in general, this just feels like a bag that you can really trust when you're traveling and feel confident that nobody's getting inside of it. Magnetic seals are just so satisfying. I want to open and close them over and over again because it just feels really good. This is a bag that really keeps travelers in mind. The designers had a million neat ideas and they executed well on almost all of them. So after two weeks on the road, going to two different cities, I can definitely say that I like this bag. There's a few nitpicks I have, a few details I might change, but they're really personal to me, things like the color and exact size and how I can fit things in it. For example, my 24 to 70 doesn't really fit with the lens hood on it, which is how I use it all the time. So that's been something to struggle with. But the design, the construction, this is a really well thought out bag. They put a lot of work into it and it's feels better than most others that I try. I love that the design keeps it clean. There's not a bunch of loose straps hanging around. I think a lot of photographers will need another bigger bag. It couldn't be my only bag, but it is a great day bag. And if you're not a photographer and you're just looking for an everyday backpack, this is a solid one. I mean, it'll protect anything really well, keep everything really organized. And like I say, it's just so smartly laid out. It's got that slot that's exactly the size of our Nintendo Switch, which was a really cool surprise. And I think everything's gonna stay safe in it. I'd love to see Peak Design apply their concepts to some other bag shapes and designs in the future. There's a lot of ways they could make other bag types work really well. A lot of other bag designers could learn a lesson from them. Just out of curiosity, here's a few more seconds recorded using S-Log instead of the Cine 4 profile. I just want to see how much more dynamic range I get in that window back there. Is the Peak Design everyday backpack the perfect camera bag? No, probably not. But it's as close to perfect as I've found so far.